everybody, it's Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews. Uh, I guess owning up to one of my uh, New Year's resolutions as far as this uh, channel is concerned and do more Nerf reviews. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am kind of, sort of, ripping off Captain Xavier's uh, format. So, having all said that, uh, this is the uh, Nerf Busby or Air Warriors, if you're getting it in other retailers, uh, Walking Dead, a a Abraham's M16. And uh, what's there to be said that hasn't already been said about this blaster? Uh, car two, I think Coop's review somewhere. I I, I don't know where I am doing the card. Wow, this is a hard format to use. Uh, in case you can tell, I'm doing a table uh, top uh, overview of the blaster because uh, as much as I love my short little uh, bedroom, I'm almost certain that it's not going to sustain the entire length of the blaster, so uh, stock to barrel, it's pretty mi minimal to average kind of uh, size for a uh, Busby blaster. The stock, uh, those look, don't look, uh, it looks gigantic on my frame, is a little short, but uh, has enough, um, I guess, length uh, on the medium scale wise to basically um, uh, get a good uh, stock uh, hold or grip or shoulder grip on it, um, uh, wherever you like to basically uh call it um another thing i wanted to make this part as like a nerf i guess first into, for this channel double review is these waffle head um uh darts from the little valentine uh company uh, they're basically knockoff uh accu strike um darts or accu fakes if you want to put it in a more uh perspective i'm trying to readjust the camera here just in case i can get a good uh layout of my of the blaster um, I'm rocking this so far with my Worker 22, uh, Clear Mag, and so far, uh, it plays off the colors on the stock, uh, <clears throat> sculpting, um, I know it's not a figure, but I, uh, the molding, it looks great, uh, it's definitely a semi-cartoonish, uh, M16 from barrel height to, uh, the carry handle, which I highly recommend, um, leaving the carry handle, because if anyone who's shot a lot of top prime blasters like myself, uh, it is a really form-fitting stock. Uh, the grip for the carry handle is actually really good, and I've been meaning to, if you've seen these um, marker points, uh, my lighting is really not good, so I'm going to have to learn this as time goes on. Um, basically, the points here and here, I'm going to try to drill through to make like a semi um, iron sight kind of deal, so who knows there. Um, the dart itself uh, are still fresh darts. I don't know when they get. I don't know how they're gonna last when they get weathered and uh, teared like most Nerf darts and in this case uh, fakes do. Uh, chambering them into the worker mags is a lot easier than I thought. Um, and the mag well for uh, the Abraham M16 uh, is basically what a lot of uh, Busby and knockoff blaster have been doing nowadays. It has been manipulating the mag well. To not only work with their mags, but with uh, end strike mags, and um, I was more worried, more importantly, about the uh, Worker 22s that are pretty much the same injection mold as well. I know, again, my lighting is really not to my favor today. I kind of positioned this, testing it on a whole nother position. So um, there will be some uh, minor fire to prove that this thing rocks pretty well. Um, I might do a range test uh, shoot in a bit, so, um, let me just get this in, uh, so yeah, the magwell's here, you put it safely secured, and I really, I, I, I have talked about the 22 mag before, uh, cards somewhere, um, to that review, um, getting to the point, um, it's a great indicator if you're gonna do competition with this blaster or other blaster types, uh, in, I guess, the primary section, uh, at least to my, um, playtime. Carry handle, like I said, is really good. Very grippable, like, you know, most carry handles do. Uh, firing it... Uh, I know I'm at a short distance, like ricochet rounds, but... Uh, putting that with the little Valentine darts, it is pretty, pretty much the best performance I've seen so far. Um, smart guess, it's still universally stock. I haven't gone around to knocking out the AR or, or lack thereof, because it's the Busby series. Um... I'm going to spitball and say, like, over 70 average. Uh, if you get a chronograph, um, probably it's hitting maybe 79, probably pushing 80, which is not bad for Busby, honestly. Um, and with the low Valentine darts on, or any um, Accu fakes, it probably might try to attempt a 90 on, like, its first shot. I don't know consistency-wise, as long as the math goes with chronographs. Another uh, uh, thing I probably need for my Nerf channel or this channel in general, is I probably need to get a chronograph I'm going to do range tests, so 
Uh, no chronographs, and um, another reason why I wanted to get this blaster as well is to basically talk about uh, Season 8 so far of The Walking Dead, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not my best season. It's not the best to watch, it's... Like, the first half is basically nothing but a gigantic war scene, which, uh, it's understandable, it's all-out war, I understand it has to be that way, but I highly recommend um, some Funny or Die recaps, they're pretty much just as more entertaining than the actual season itself, which is a bad thing for a Walking Dead fan like myself to say. Um, but having all said that, um, the Abraham's M16 does represent the show well, it does represent the Walking Dead brand as far as merchandise goes, I understand that completely. But at the same time, I just don't really see myself um, saying I'm a fan of Season 8 being with this blaster. Prior seasons and the books, yes. Um, but trying to defend All Out War season-wise uh, compared to the book is completely different. There's no getting around that as well. Um, so um, before I get to the test fires, I want to do my final rating. Um, I guess for the season so far, not the blaster. Um... 7 out of 10, it's it's dipping a little. Uh, the ratings was definitely not to its favor as far as AMC is concerned. There is news to it. I'll probably put it in the description. Um, with that all said, uh, enjoy the firing demo and my final results with the Abrahams uh, M16. Yeah, so this is just a full frame view before I do the, sh uh, the firing demo. Um, just I have seen, uh, just pre-watched my own footage. And yeah, I kind of noticed the whole thing is upside down. But having said that... Um, this is the form, this is how it looks, uh, all the way in, this is the whole 360 of it, I guess if I can with the 22 meg still in it. Um, yeah, um, like I said earlier, the gripping is really good, um, for a shoulder stock, it's a little short, but believe me, it's not as short as, like, a retaliator stock, or, um, I want to say the Recon Mark II stock, so, uh, I'm shouldering it just about right, and, uh, since I was talking earlier about the, uh, marker, marker points for my, uh, 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 iron sight, uh, here's the, uh, where I'm gonna try to drill that through, and I'm aiming, I haven't really picked a spot yet for this one yet, um, I have an entry point there, but, uh, that's it for now, and, uh, firing demo-wise, if I can even back up a little, which is really good, now, if I have any darts left, I know that the last two were dry fires, but from what you can tell, um, draw, rapid firing with the carry handle is a really good position if you guys are going to do this. Competition-wise, either for indoor or outdoor wars. It really just keeps you on your pace, and uh, with the little Valentine darts and my worker mag, it's a not bad loadout for me, I'm not going to lie. It's not the best loadout. Um, it's extremely hard to get this thing sling-mounted because there is a bracket here that is itching to do, um, I guess, sanding in my end, now looking at it, um, and probably, uh, hopefully get a decent, uh, sling mount on it, because that's the only place I can see, um, if you could do it on the iron, that's gonna be a two-point sling, so for those who do two-point slings, more power to you, but for me, I'm probably just gonna sand this part down and just throw my usual, uh, condor, uh, yeah, my condor sling mount, sorry if I'm, uh, <laughs> speeding up a little, I just wanna get to the firing demo, and uh, overall range test. Uh, no review, uh, no final score yet. Just wanted to finally get you a, at least a chance to look at the full length of the blaster. Sorry, Captain Xavier. Guess I can't do the tabletops. And here we are with uh, a new hoodie and a uh, new tech gear uh, doing the firing demo finally uh, for the Nerf. Uh, sorry, Busby. Uh, Abraham's M16. Um, in case you're wondering uh, the dates, if I edit this correctly, uh, I'm shooting uh, my top five worst movies of the year as of making this video, so I'm doubling up on my shooting schedule. So, having said that, uh, another proof of concept that, yeah, it does take regular mags as well and anything else from the Nerf line. So, I'm going to start off with my clear mag. Uh, I think you guys saw earlier on in the video. And I actually like the clear mag. It is very confirming, and it might get me into buying more clear mags in the future for future loadouts. So, fingers crossed there. So, I'm uh, just checking the camera to see if everything's all right here. And uh, firing demo in three, two, now. And this is my first attempt at the range, and it's actually not bad.
Uh, it's arcing a certain way with the little Valentine darts, but it's really not bad when you guys see the full uh, range. Oh, wow. I got a fishtail on the, uh, I guess, elite knockoffs over the little Valentine line. So now I'm just going to finish off this mag doing the grip mount like I said earlier. Um, despite the rapid fire, it's a little hard to control, so you might need to, like, adjust your shoulder when it comes to the blaster. But once you get, like, an overhead sight like I just did right now, it's actually not bad. But the thing is, it may or may not arc the shot a little, so you may need to be a little careful how you're gripping the, uh, the carry angle. Alright, changing mag to my last 22. Uh, this is the clear one. I'm not, not the clear one. Uh, the permanent one, and as a full-blown knockoff of, like, the 18s, they're really not bad. Uh, a little Valentine's to confirm that this is, you know, still the worker mags. And, uh, knockoff darts. Oh, I had a dip in range. Um, I guess it's probably the wear and tear, most likely. I've been having this since, uh, Christmas, so it may be showing on, on the wear and tear. Uh, one of my, uh, at least just rocketed to the, uh, on the right side, so definitely, it's faking the lead performance just fine, but not enough fishtail. And that's it, so I'm gonna cut this and show you the, uh, full, uh, I guess position of my alley right about now. Last see I'm here on the Handycam. By the way, I got a new step for the deck, so I'm not gonna slide anytime soon, so yeah, if you guys wanna see bloopers of that, that ain't happening anymore. I'm really loving this stuff. Thank you to my uh, family for getting this uh, fixed up with the deck. Uh, home improvement aside, let's get to the range. Uh, these first couple of darts, right around here is the fishtail to like semi-average stuff. I'm going to say like 20 or uh, 15 feet at least. Uh, there's going to be a cornucopia amount, so if I miss out any, please let me know in the comments uh, what dart I missed uh, to be scientifically accurate for these uh, range tests. Uh, yeah, that guy right there, that's the one that arced a little to the right, along with uh, this dude here, and the rest here is pretty much the average uh, grouping. I'm going to say about, like, uh, 40, 60 feet at least, uh, if we are going by ricochet, which a few kind of did. I didn't really see uh, outright when I was doing the uh, carry handle grip mount uh, rapid fire. Um, it was uh, random, like, sometimes it's got a straight shot, sometimes it's a little on the medium range, but... Um, if you're gonna mod it, um, I highly recommend doing a spring upgrade, make sure you get a consistent performance, um, reinforcement, definitely, because I think most of the Busby blasters are kind of have, like, a, a metal bar kind of angle, so, that's kind of what you're looking for out here, so, I'll be right back for the overall score, and sorry if you've seen this not, because it's the winner, what are you gonna do? So, the overall score for, uh, if I had to rate it for, uh, Busby blasters for the Abrahams, M16 is about a 6 or 7, and that's pretty average for a really good score for a Busby Blast like this. Uh, the carry handle, I highly recommend if you're going to like be in an HVC situation and you have to like close quarter range it just to get out of a situation to get back to a safe zone uh, during your gameplay. I highly recommend it. The stock, I know um, uh, full lengthwise is pretty average, but believe me, um, having to have years of Retaliator and uh, Recon R2 um, stocks... I have, it's way better. It's a very confirming uh, shoulder mount, and uh, the I guess the arc uh, for the uh, grip itself is very nice. It confirms your shoulder really well. It gets a tight grip pretty well. Um, in case you haven't noticed, uh, I still haven't um, done my um, iron sight mod, which is just basically drill a hole through the, uh, the carry handle. The only concern I have for the carry handle at this point is if it will still have that same stability and grip I used during um, the firing demo you just saw. So... That's more of that on a future project, probably for a future video. But for now, uh, since this is also a Walking Dead video, my overall thoughts with Season 8 so far is not good. I highly recommend the books at this point because they're doing stuff in Philadelphia with a new group. I, I'm not going to spoil in case you guys want to read the 170s uh, as far as issues go. Uh, those are really not bad. They're really good from what I've seen when I was at New York Comic Con um, with Robert Kirkman's panel. Um, having said all that, I am still a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I'm happy that this show exists. It got over my fear of uh, zombies a lot faster than the Resident Evil series, which you'll definitely see that kind of dialogue uh, through my top ten, top ten, top five worst movies of the year. 
uh, for 2017. Um, having all said that, um, I highly recommend this. It was about like 20 or 30 bucks at a Target. Um, if you can find it at a Target or online for Amazon for about that same price, it's not bad. It's a good indoor blaster if you're not really into modding it like me. Uh, but if you're gonna do spring mounted uh, stuff, I highly recommend trying to see if you can get a K24 or K26. Uh, knock down to a 20K in case it doesn't really do full performance. Um, mainly because it's a Busby blaster and the priming rod, you can definitely hear in the internals. And I highly recommend researching this through Nerf Haven or like any Reddit post uh, if you really are committed to modding this blaster. Um, if there's O rings, obviously re grease them, re uh, re O ring them if you have to. Uh, same old stuff with the, t the carry handle. I w if I was in. In my case, I would try to preserve the carry handle as much as I can because I am not kidding or exaggerating. This is the best top prime blaster I've probably had in a very long time for this channel. So, for the carry handle alone, that is why it's getting the average. Because without it, it was like a basic like uh, attempt to be like a picky kind of thing, like uh, the recon guys do up on Nerf. It would kill it because it will eventually snap, and then you're gonna have to like figure out a way to like get a three printed um like a pump grip working on this. Uh, whole front mount, which the front mount is very grippable. I, I highly don't recommend uh, getting a, a, a grip or like those angle grips because if you do the angle grip, there is a bit of plastic right here you can shave down, which actually would help out immensely. Uh, the barrel, uh, I know you guys seen some of the, the darts coming out of it. It is probably the best gap. It's not like a scar barrel kind of deal, but if you did a scar barrel through that with like a, a brass breech kind of scar barrel, that would actually keep the performance a little bit consistent with the, uh, the little Valentine darts or any of the mod darts you guys are going to get. Having all said that, um, series-wise, yeah, AMC needs to do better. And uh, throughout this whole rant, um, I highly recommend um, the guy on Funny or Die. He's been doing his own uh, funny style, <laughs> obviously. Uh, recaps to it. It was the most entertaining thing I've seen than the actual season stuff, which is not good. But having said that, I really want the show to do better. And if not, there's always the comics for that. And the Telltale series, which I may or may not review in the future. So having all said that, I'm Richard K. Richard K. Reviews in... Nerf JDX armor, I guess 3.0 at this point. Um, <laughs> doing the uh, Abraham M16, and uh, since this is based on the uh, character Abraham, I do mourn the guy's death both in the comic and the, and, uh, the actual TV actor. He was actually really funny as all hell. Uh, I can't. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little uh, groggy and tired uh, doing the range test, but believe me, this is uh, some uh, nuts getting sucked or whatever. Whatever the hell he said when uh, Negan killed him. Uh, spoilers, I guess, if anyone's not that far ahead when they're binging it, but. Don't really care at this point. Still, great blaster. I highly recommend it if you're going to go professional with this or semi-professional with, with Indoor Wars. And I'm repeating myself, so uh, if this is the end cards, uh, go to the previous video for, I assume, my XFL coverage or the top five. Don't know which is going to come out first. Uh, other uh, link here to subscribe to the channel. And have it all said that, again, stealing something from, I guess, another nerf review. Have a great day, wherever you are. Bye, Bobo.